Okay, so doing this with regular super glue that I always use. Gorilla super glue. And it's a bit awkward since I'm on the floor right now. Actually, just noticed that this is a bit sharp. Yeah, feel the blade area before you glue it. This sounds good. Okay. Because once you glue it together, you, it's kind of going to destroy it if you try to pry it open. Okay, let's just start blowing. Also, once you've got the glue on, do not put the sword in until like 24 hours pass. Otherwise, you might you risk some super glue going onto the sword. You don't want that. And don't put any super glue on where the blade goes as well. Just common sense stuff really. Time for alignment. Now if you're going for strength you could use clamps, uh, no not clamps, you could use a soldering iron once, uh, once it's clamped. But since I've got white and I don't plan to do anything with those areas, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna rely straight on the super glue and these little clamps. So let's do it first with mini clamps. <gasps> oh, I don't wanna get super glue on my fingers and the, the black. Make sure that the edges go to the edge. <laughs> So, actually, I'm just going to go, go straight with the large clamps. Oh, don't drop, don't drop, don't drop. Actually, okay, so I'll do this side here. Yeah, you've got to have some glue seeping out, so watch that. Watch your fingers. Because if you have glue seeping out, and it goes on your fingers, don't touch the black. So I'm only going to try to touch the white areas. And only clamp down the sides, not the middle. Because if you clamp down the middle, you're going to squish where there's nothing there, it's just a bridge basically is squishing. And I'm gonna feel for alignment. You don't wanna misalign it. And I'm not I'm not squeezing these too hard at the moment. Because I'm getting the positioning bang on first. Very important that. Oh, see, I can see that. I know you, you guys can't see that, but that, that what the sides did was this. It kind of done that. I don't want bowing because that's a very, very thin area. That's why I did that. 
so maybe instead for that okay, I should use now this area is a bit thicker and I haven't got too many of these large clamps I have thinner ones that I'll bring in in a minute because you need a lot of pressure here like all around like I can't apply too much pressure here because it's so thin so that I do need the thin clamps here yeah that's the best I think thing to do and rely on the thicker ones more in this area yeah I'm not, I'm not doing this tight at all bowing any bowing and if I see any bowing I release the clamp needs to be very not very loose just I don't want any bowing at all this one doesn't want to go I'm not going to bother to, with um, getting rid of the excess super glue right now because the white we can sand down. So that's not a big deal. And see, I'm just doing as much as areas as I can. I just found a needle. Oh, and then I just. Oh, there it is. Oh, I just lost it as well. Just make sure you use all the clamps. You don't. Uh, no need to just waste them. Use them. Create more pressure points, but even pressure points. Can't use this one though. I've got this. Where could I use that? Uh, uh, but I am running out of space to be honest. That'll do. Very nice. So now it's just a matter of leaving it for around 24 hours because you don't want the super glue touching your sword. So yeah, job well done. And we'll come back to this tomorrow. Or 24 hours later. <laughs>